Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ActiveYI to um, extract structure information from images. So, we have recently introduced two new modules, uh, the OCR and information extraction. So, OCR can help you to extract uh, text from images, and information extraction can extract uh, only the information you want from from the text. So combining these two, you can extract any information you want from uh, the input images. So first you need to upload uh, an image archive. Uh, uh, so that uh, will be a zip file that contains some images. So here um, I'm going to have a few images of different invoices. Each invoice has information uh, from invoice number, uh, the seller information, and the items sold in the invoice, including uh, item names, uh, quantity, uh, price sold, and the total uh, price. Uh, so we can are gonna extract like information of the items. And, and and export them in a JSON format. Okay, um, so the data uh, is now uploaded into our platform. So here is the past uh, table where we have the original file name and then the text from uh, the images. And next, uh, in order to extract this information from this uh, text. Then we're going to choose uh, information instruction. Okay. Um, first, you need to specify which column that contains the text uh, to be passed. So I'm going to choose pass text and the file name, the original file name. Um, next, uh, you need to go to information instruction tab. So we can choose a different option here. Um, so the way this uh, information instruction works is that we call a chat GPT model, right? And then uh, we pass your uh, past text and along with the information here, and uh, chat GPT will return the output. So here we have a few core uh, information to extract. So here we want to extract the invoice number. So I'm going to put invoice number here. So this doesn't have to be strictly invoice number as it is here. It can be uh, semantically similar, for example, to invoice space uh, number, for example. And ChatGPT will be able to understand it. Uh, next, I'm going to extract the seller name. Okay. Um, and now I want to extract items. So this is something interesting. So item uh, is that in, in the invoice, uh, we have a list of items. And each item will have different subfield, uh, like uh, item name, uh, sold quantity, sold price, and total price. Right. So um, in order to tell ChatGPT uh, which field from items to be extract, uh, extracted, then we need to uh, define uh, those uh, Apple schema. Right. And here you have an option called output JSON schema, and you can tell ChatGPT in which format uh, the output uh, should be. Uh, so here I'm gonna uh, define invoice number, and here I can define the type. Can tell ChatGPT what is the type of um, the field. So actually, invoice number is an integer. So I can put int, which is uh, an integer type in Python. So here I choose Python. Uh, as a syntax language so that um, ChatGPT can understand, but you can choose another language as well, it doesn't matter. Um, seller name, right? Seller name is a string, so I'm going to put str, which is a string type in Python. And then we have items, right? Item is a list, so I'm going to have a list here. And each item, I'm going to define the structure of each item uh, here. So, which is uh, first, this has the name, right? Item name is a string. Um, quantity, right? Quantity, so quantity is an integer. Price is a real number. So, real number in Python uh, basically float, okay? Then, total price is also a real number, okay? So, that's 
uh, is the structure of uh, an item and then here we can uh, we fully specified the structure of our output and ChatGPT will be able to understand the structure and extract the output in this format for us uh, now again you can choose like which like ChatGPT model to 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 use for our extraction here I'm going to choose ChatGPT 3.5 turbo um, you can set a different uh, limit right or the array limit uh, like uh, yeah what the speed and how fast it should be and there is some limitation in how fast the charge GPT can call uh, so uh, you need to specify the array limit per, mi uh, per minute here and it's already set for you so that's fine um, next you need to, s uh, to, to to set the open ABI keys that uh, to be used for for calling ChatGPT. Uh, so here uh, I'm gonna use uh, my experimental uh, ABI key here. Um, so I'm gonna set it here. Okay. Next, I'm gonna click run. Yeah, let's wait for a bit, and then uh, basically what the way I do is that it will calling ChatGPT right given uh, the text from the parts table and then the output JSON and schema and the view then ChatGPT will be able to answer um, the, uh, the output well, so here it is so here for example you can see that now we have invoice number we have seller name we have items which is a list of uh, items we have the name of the item we have the quantity we have the price and total price same here uh, as you can see that we now have a full list of items from the invoice so so that's it uh, so i showed you a demo how you can use afterward i know to extract a structure information any information you want from images or, or pdf uh, without having to train any ai model uh, yourself right, thank you for watching